Dear people of God in the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau, I'm Bishop Fobb and I serve you as bishop. It is early July and I hear school bells in the distance. I'm very excited to tell you that we are going back to school in August. Our Catholic school students will be returning to in-classroom education come August. We are preparing for a safe return of our students to our Catholic schools, and Mrs. Suzanne Troxclair will be speaking after me with more particulars about this plan. However, I joyfully tell you that right now we are planning for our students to return to the classroom in our Catholic schools. We will regularly communicate the latest update to our plans on our diocesan website as well as on social media. Each Catholic school will also continue to communicate with its parents and students as these plans are finalized. But again, I'm very happy to tell you that our plans are to return to in-classroom education come August. I am Suzanne Troxclair, and I serve as your superintendent of Catholic schools for the Diocese of Homa Thibodeau. As Bishop Bob has stated, we are eagerly preparing for the safe return of our students to in-classroom instruction in our Catholic schools for the 2021 school year. Our diocese is committed to the safety, presence, and growth of our students when they return to our school buildings. We are committed to utilizing the appropriate safety measures necessary to keep our school families safe on our campuses. We are also committed to ensuring their presence at our schools for our best opportunity for whole student instruction. And lastly, we're committed to the growth of our students both spiritually and academically. I want to tell you a little bit about what we've done to prepare for the safe return of our students to our school buildings. This summer, we have been working with a task force that is composed of teachers, administrators, other school personnel, healthcare workers, counselors, human resource directors, and other members of our schools and communities that have been working together to finalize plans for our return to school. These plans are aligned with our state, local, and federal officials, as well as our healthcare professionals. Guidance is coming from our CDC, our Louisiana Department of Education, and our Louisiana Department of Health, among others. Keep in mind that this plan is fluid, and we will amend the plans as necessary according to various governmental and healthcare regulations. We will continue to communicate any changes of our plan to you, both from the diocesan level as well as through your children's schools. Exciting things are happening this summer as our schools prepare for the return of our students to our school buildings. For instance, one school is utilizing Tech It Out Tuesdays to help their teachers enhance their use of technology in the classroom. Our summer curriculum mapping project is utilizing teachers from across the diocese to enhance lessons in English language arts and math with virtual learning resources that can be used by all teachers throughout the schools. The most important part of our plans to return to school is our commitment to our Catholic education. I want to thank all of you for committing to our schools and to a Catholic environment as we work to educate our students and form them as missionary disciples. We are proud of our schools for providing that Christ-centered environment each and every day in our schools. I also want to tell you that we are committed to regular communication as our plan continues to live and be updated as changes come about from our local and state officials. We will continue to communicate both through our diocesan communication systems as well as through our school communication networks. Together, we can do our part to ensure that our students will have the safest return to school possible. Thank you for continuing to social distance when you are out with your families and also in smaller groups. Thank you for continuing to wear face coverings and wash your hands frequently. This is a job that we can all do together 
to help support the safe return of our students to our schools. We can't wait to see all of our children this fall. I thank you, dear parents, for entrusting your children to Catholic education, and I'm deeply grateful for your commitment to Catholic education, even in these difficult times of pandemic. Our Catholic schools have a strong Catholic identity, and they prepare students not only academically, but also spiritually, forming not only the mind of the child, but the heart of the child where the Spirit of God resides. I'm very proud of the Catholic identity found in our Catholic schools, and I thank you, dear parents, for entrusting your children to Catholic education, and I offer my gratitude to our teachers, administration, and our staff as well. Let us continue to pray for one another. Let us continue to pray for all students. Let us pray for our Catholic school students as we look forward to responding again to those school bells that I hear in the distance. God bless you.